In this video, I'm going to run through Advanced System Care 5 with you. Um, it was released sometime yesterday and today, so I'm trying to be the first one out here to do this review. So let's hope I am, and subscribe, rate, comment. Um, Advanced System Care 5 comes with this new skin, and along with its uh, original look. Um, Iopa has really stepped up their game in this one, and now I am actually going to encourage you to upgrade now, because they really really outdid themselves I mean this is great so let's go through deep care here deep care now comes with a couple new features I'm gonna run through those along with everything else alright the malware removal um, I have not seen their new database yet so you can probably check this but make sure you know what you're removing in case there is a false positive the registry fix if you go pro it is now on par with eusing's registry cleaner the registry defrag is a new feature you should always click this cuz it will increase your computer's speed if it is if your computer's registry is fragmented System optimization remains the same. It is, it is still good. You should check that. System optimization, good. Uh, shortcut fix is now actually ahead of eusings, so you want to use this. Um, the privacy sweep, as I've said before in the in the settings, you want to make sure that the browser you are using is unchecked, along with. Uh, Adobe Flash Player if you are playing Flash games, otherwise it will erase all your saved data. Here. I use Mozilla Firefox and Google Chrome. I always leave those unchecked. Um, utilities for SpyBot, I'm leaving that unchecked. Multimedia, Adobe Flash Player is here. Leave it unchecked. Everything else can be checked. Junk Files Clean is now uh, is not as good as the original file cleaner that comes with Windows but it has been improved so you should check that security defense has been improved keep that um, the disk scan and the vulnerability fixes always keep those checked the vulnerability fix uh, installs updates from Microsoft if you did not run uh, Mac updates from Microsoft um, though it says five to ten minutes for each item it actually takes less than that now and it, but if you are running on an older system you might take five to ten minutes so let's go back tool the uh, turbo boost has uh, been released to the free version um, it now has two types of turbo boost for it office and gaming I have set to gaming turbo boost eliminates programs that are running in the background it, it will prompt you make sure you know what you are shutting down because if you shut down something you don't want to shut down then you're just gonna have to go through again and make sure you you got it all set up so Toolbox. There are some new tools for Toolbox here. Now, in the last, in my last review of Advanced System Care, um, I s mentioned Smart RAM being uh, redesigned in a bad way. Well, they have fixed that, and it is now designed in the way it was before Advanced System Care 4. Um, all right, um, Toolbox. Registry Cleaner is a pro version. Um, you sh you should run this once a month. Privacy Sweeper is in the deep scan. You don't need to worry about this. The iobit uninstaller. Um, you can do this using add or remove programs, but this can force uninstall, which leaves behind registry issues, which is not a good thing. The disk cleaner. Um, same thing in the deep care. The file shredder. You can use this. Use the Peter Gutman Delete Act, which will delete your files so many times like it shreds them so no data thief can get at your personal information optimize um, smart ram has been redone so on the bottom here where all these icons are you will have a number and that number represents the ram available and when it goes below a certain level the numbers will turn red and it will show you that you are running low on ram internet booster it's Pro feature, it basically uh, helps speed up your internet connection. Startup Manager has been redone. It is, I don't think it's as great as it was before, but it's still good. You would use this to keep programs from running when you start up and it increases your startup time. Registry Defrag, this is actually uh, more advanced than the one Deep Care. 
you can run this if you are pro feature smart defrag um, same basic defragger that is in the deep care game booster um, that's another program you would have to install just like smart defrag um, it basically does the same thing as turbo boost except on a different level so go to repair undelete you can right click on your recycle bin and it will bring it up shortcut fixer same thing that's in the deep care disk doctor same thing win fix um, goes through the operating system and it finds errors glitches fixes them internet explorer helper uh, restores hijack settings or settings that you messed up a good thing to have security um, system explorer um, this will go through parts of your system that have glitches and fixes them security hole scanner you should run this maybe once a month you can find any ho security holes or patches that you've not gotten from Microsoft um, process manager same thing as hitting control alt delete and then hitting processes but this is run by iobit uh, driver manager helps update your drivers um, there are other programs but this one's a little bit better the iobit malware fighter um, again it uses the Iowa database and I am not going to comment on that because I have not gone through it again but um, remember there are always false positives in any security system but um, I have had more problems with IO but than any other security system so we'll I'll keep you updated on that control uh, pro feature clone file scanner uh, let's say you copied two pieces of music but you put them in different spots and you forgot where one was this will help you find it auto shutdown that's a new feature shuts down your computer automatically at a scheduled time um, this is useful if you need to leave the house suddenly and you don't want to leave your computer running you click this you shut down your computer scheduled time after it's done running whatever scan um, disk explorer this shows where the big files are you can usually determine that though by going to add or remove programs and seeing which programs occupy the most space System information. This is good to use. There's another. There's a Windows program for that, but this is actually easier because it's all one place with in the toolbox. The empty folder scanner. That's that's good to find. It can lag your empty folders can lag your computer, but sometimes certain programs need the folders, so be careful. Uh, system control. This helps can tra change your operating system settings to make your computer run faster um, just make sure you don't destroy your computer using that um, so if we go back we have active boost on that's a new feature bio but basically it helps keep your computer running a little bit faster than normal um, the cloud online feature here is cloud computing and, it tell, and basically it'd be like Norton's interactive search or Norton's interactive uh, scanner whenever you download a file it tells you if it's safe well this keeps bad files from even being downloaded so we'll go through this some more you have the same ad as always here um, even if you upgrade I don't know if that goes away or not uh, quick care you have a quick launch icon here for that um, this can be used for daily use but I would recommend that you do maybe deep care once every two weeks or maybe once a month depending on how much you use your computer the deep care system has been greatly improved I'm very very happy with this uh, new advanced system care I mean this is one of the probably they've I mean they've really outdone themselves with this and I'm um, I really can't say anything really bad about it I mean they've outdone e usings registry cleaner and registry defragger so I mean I would consider you I would strongly consider that you upgrade if you have the money and the time um, this has been completely redone it's really really great um, so depending on what you want to do you I would recommend you upgrade though because this has been really really well done and because now you're getting uh, something just as good as e-using, it's really on par with it. You could you could consider upgrading here because this has been really well done. So that concludes my review and tutorial of Advanced System Care 5.
I managed to get it out the day after it was released, which is uh, quite amazing for me. So, rate, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the comment box, and I will try to get to you as soon as possible. Um, please do not, I repeat, do not get sent, put, or post the code to upgrade for free because that is piracy and I will have to remove your comment and I w might have to report you to YouTube which would not be good and nobody wants that so rate comment subscribe and enjoy the new advanced system care 5 by iobit and good luck getting your computer fixed